Let the games begin. Cutting time. First things first, guys. Branch chain of amino acids um, to prevent muscle breakdown, catabolism, when you're doing fasted cardio. I do fasted cardio because I think it works best for me when I'm trying to lose a bit of fat, yeah? So I'll take two of these, um, just some water, just before I get going, yeah? Right, let's do this. First things first, guys. First workout of the day. Fasted cardio, low intensity. At the moment, I'll be doing this for about half an hour. So just before I have my breakfast, I'm gonna have two cod liver oil, two vitamin D3, two vitamin C, and two omega 3s Then for good measure, we'll have one scoop, um, five grams of creatine monohydrate. So it's time to make some breakfast, so let's have a look. just to make it easier for you and now I'm just gonna put a dash of cinnamon in um, I'll put a tiny tiny bit of turmeric like really small amount in there I'm gonna put 20 grams of chocolate orange and 20 grams um, of vanilla casein so you can see where um, casein in there yeah and then after that um, I will put 60 grams of blueberries in there so yeah I'll show you the final product Last but not least, my favourite bit, so we'll grab some blueberries, we're going to try to get around 60 grams, I'm not competing so I don't need to just bang on, so let's throw them in there, right, perfect, that'll do 61, yeah, so let's mix those up, push them down, as you do, so that we defrost lightly, yeah, so we'll leave those in there and then that's ready to eat. Yeah, perfect. So guys, so I've eaten my breakfast. What I like to do now is drink up a half a gallon bottle of water to ensure that I've got half of my minimum daily amount, which is a gallon. Right guys, so I'm about to have my pre-workout, which is a caffeine pro tablet from my protein. So I have just one of these. Sometimes I'll have two if I've had a long day at work, but as it's the weekend, I only need one. Um, and then I've also got here one of my BCAAs from earlier. So this is what I have before my workout. Today we will be training legs. Um, my workouts throughout the week are generally push, pull, leg split. Today is legs and abs on the leg split. Do about three to four exercises um, on legs, five sets, and then I'll finish off with a bit of calves. I try to go heavy. Um, I train calves every day, um, and then I will be doing some abdominal exercises but I don't do too many too much of my abdominals as I'm trying to keep my weights nice and tight and to um, avoid overtraining them at the minute. I'll probably do about an hour's cardio. Um, if the stair mass is free I'll hopefully do that. Again like my workout earlier in the morning it'll be low intensity but that's just to sort of increase my calorie deficit and I found for me that low intensity rather than high intensity works better. Um, but I know some people do prefer training with HIIT um, do you know it's just about 
knowing your body and what works for you basically after a lot of testing i seem to lose more fat and hold on to more muscle using low intensity um over hit um but like i said that's just up to you and how your body reacts to training now we're gonna hit up some legs and abs i'll do a bit of filming so keep watching Right guys, it's time to do some cardio now, so I'm going to do an hour on the Stairmaster. We all know how much we love this machine, but it burns the calories, so here we go. Right guys, it's time to eat. So, this is sort of my post-workout meal. This is meal number two, yeah? So here I've got about 100 grams of potatoes, um, which I've mashed. I'll do a separate video on that, about food prep. 175 grams of chicken in there and I've just got a handful of asparagus I don't weigh my asparagus at the minute I don't feel the need to I just cook 120 grams and share it over the two days um, to spice things up a little bit well not really spice I've got here some garlic and herb salt it makes things a lot nicer I just throw a lot on there uh, salt's essential so don't be cutting your salt um, so I'm going to dig in because the English game's going to start at 3 o'clock and I need to hurry up and eat I've been eating between two and three hours. I'll catch you later. Right, guys, so meal number three is another set of chicken and potato. Um, 100 grams of potato. 175 of chicken. So I'm going to dig into this and I'll catch you later after the England game. If they win, I'm going to have a little bit of a treat. So we'll see. Eh? Right, guys, meal number four is about to go down same as the last one 100 grams of carbs and 175 grams of chicken i'm gonna dig in and add my garlic salt um, looking forward to it as always so guys just before i had my fifth meal of the day i'm just preparing myself some of this protein custard as you see on many cooking channels i've already pre-made it with 50 grams um, of the powder mixed with 150 milliliters of water so i'm gonna put that in the microwave um, and I'll show you what it looks like with my 10 calorie jelly. So guys, it's time to make the jelly. So for my sanity, I've got raspberry, an orange, an orange and strawberry each, 10 calories each. And I'm gonna have all four of them. 
as I've been dieting now for three weeks for my pre-holiday sort of mini cut just to lean up for my holiday so anyway I'm gonna open all these and then right before I put the custard on um, I'll start filming again so guys we're here I'm ready to eat the jelly um, so there's about 40 um, calories in here um, and in the custard the vanilla custard there is about 190 calories about 28 grams of protein 15 grams of carbs and 2.3 2.4 grams of fat so really it's a guilt-free sort of snack sort of treat to keep me on my diet um, for the next two weeks this is probably the last treat I'll have for the next two weeks before I go on holiday um, and I know it's going to satisfy those cravings that I've got. So this is the final product here. Eh? So guilt free meal, um, just after my meal number five, which I've eaten. Um, glass of water always, some water with every meal, um, you know, to achieve my gallon to two gallons a day. If I go over it's alright, it's all beneficial. So yeah, so I'll c catch up with my final meal, which is going to be my porridge again similar to my breakfast meal however um i'm gonna switch up and i use different protein flavors here we have it guys final meal of the day meal six as you can see it's a lighter color than my breakfast um what i've put in here is 30 grams of vanilla casein protein and i've put 10 grams of raspberry vanilla same amount as of blueberries same amount of water actually maybe a little bit more water because casey makes the oats thicker so i've compensated by adding more water so the final meal has been eaten um i hope you've enjoyed this video and the humor i've put on it um i've tried to put in detail and give you a realistic sort of perception on how things happen on a day-to-day -day basis for me and sort of the effort and sort of the dedication it takes to achieve a high level of physique sort of nutrients that i put in and sort of the supplements i take in order to promote longevity of my health and well-being just want you to take into consideration though that today is a saturday and it is the weekend now the meals and the sort of dedication focus that i have on my meal prep the gym the fitness all that side of the things um, I incorporate within my 37 hour working week the point I'm trying to take home is that achieving a high level physique is very time consuming and you do need to be dedicated um, but I'm saying it's not impossible for someone who works full-time has a professional job or you know has children you've just got to work around it I mean, I get up at 4.30 in the morning to sort of fit my uh, morning cardio in, in the gym in to make sure that I can, um, you know, prioritise my work and then fit the gym around it just by having to get up extra early. Um, these are these are just simple ways of working around it. Um, maybe training more on a weekend. However, I understand that people have weekend jobs. Um, really, if you're wanting to achieve a certain level of physique or achieve a point of fitness or meet a certain goal the only way you're going to achieve that is really by sacrificing other things um, as you get going it does become easier um, you do get in a bit of a routine however it's just that initial start um, but you just gotta you just gotta go for you know you just gotta take it in your stride my point is if you want something go and get it if you want to achieve the body you've always wanted to achieve Go and get it. You're the only person that can do that, yeah? I've done it, so why can't you, yeah? I've sacrificed many things. I've got up at ridiculous times in the morning, but it's not ridiculous once you get into the swing of it. But the normal person would see it as a ridiculous time. I see it as a normal time and something that I commit to in order to achieve what I want to achieve, yeah? So with that, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Continue to ask me questions. Please like and subscribe and share this video. Um, and I hope I've given you a realistic picture of what it takes and sort of a, a little bit um, of an understanding of me and what I go through on a sort of day-to-day -day basis. Thank you.